My child currently is going to turn 10 next year, and he started playing tennis um, when he was about four years old. So we've did, been doing this about six years now, uh, playing tennis lessons and tournaments. Uh, it's a very, uh, it's become a very large commitment. In the beginning, it started out just lessons and a few local tournaments. And as uh, Noah, our son, uh, has become a better player, it's involved uh, much more travel, uh, local travel, including national travel and even international travel as we went to uh, Europe this summer. The tournaments are a, it's a great experience, uh, both for uh, the, the kids, their tennis development, the, they build a lot of friendships, uh, the sense of competition, and as well just for the family in general. We see the same families at the tournaments over and over, and we've developed really good friendships with many of the families. But in the end, it's really fun, and I think uh, they shouldn't be afraid to, uh, to get involved in the uh, tennis tournament uh, lifestyle. Really, it's kind of a lifestyle. We, we live and breathe tennis at home. Sometimes it's kind of rough. But, you know, being that he's only 13, I, I think it's it's okay for him to play multiple sports. I know a lot of the kids are, you know, playing only tennis or some of the kids only play soccer, some only play baseball. But we've always felt like if we can do it, we'll let him play as long as he can. And so far it's been okay. I think, first of all, it's got to be fun for the kids. You know, if it's not fun, whether it's tennis or baseball or whatever, it's just I don't think it's really worth it. So I think the number one thing, it's got to be fun for the kids. It's, it's in a commitment, you know, not only for you and your child, but for your whole family. Uh, you know, if you've got other siblings, you know, they usually end up getting drug along to these tournaments and stuff like that. So, you know, be prepared. It's going to be a commitment for everybody in the family, not just you and your, your child that's participating, but for the whole family, I think. Uh, so far, he's had a good time. This is a, a very well-run tournament, and these are fantastic facilities. Uh, you know, the competition is pretty stiff. Uh, but I think more importantly, my son's had a good time, so, and I've enjoyed watching all the tennis here. Fantastic players are here. I think is more important than anything else is to keep it fun. Uh, you know, these are kids, and they like to have fun, uh, and if they're not out, out there having fun, they're not going to keep playing. It's important to understand that some kids are not going to stick with it for forever, and uh, to force the issue, I think, can make a, a child unhappy. Um, so I think it's, you know, some kids are just not cut out or just not willing or just not that interested in, in a sport, in this case tennis, to, to stick with it for the long term and put in all the hours of practice. So uh, you have to recognize that your dream is not always your child's dream. This is one of the biggest tournaments of the year for the Pacific Northwest. Actually, it's the biggest tournament of the year, so everybody tries to play this. Um, huge draw, great competition, and um, great experience for the kids. I think it's terrific because it's really not so much about the tennis. It's about learning how to run your own race and run it to the fullest, whether you feel like it or not. And, learning how to fight the good fight no matter how you feel in a day. Work hard, learn what it is to do your best, learn how to set expectations, how to set goals that are achievable, um, how to not let your emotions play you, how to not let extraneous circumstances play you. Uh, so I, I think it's just a great life lesson. That's why we play tennis.